comfy cozy up so we're currently in december yes december we are uh first day of vlogmas and i am excited this is my third time doing it i just love it i love being able to recap what i've read all year and to also read some books to end out the year strong um i am for the first time did not um it's not that my uh um, exceeded my goals I am two books away from it but normally um, this time of year I would have exceeded already and I would have just been added on but it's probably gonna still happen because I do plan on reading some more but we're gonna just start by ending out the month of November and I read more than I thought I would and I'm glad about that but a lot of the, the last, I would say the last couple of days have been good. And also I had about 10 days off in November, so that helped a lot. So we're going to talk about the books I read, physical books, and then, of course, the short stories that I was able to read as well. So I read the last book that I had on my list for the men booker um, shortlist. This was The New Wilderness, um, Dying Cook. Not familiar with her, but I picked this up because I just rather just finish out the list because I got that far. And I'm glad I read it. It was a mother-daughter story that was um, different, interesting. Um, it is a dystopian world and we're dealing with people who are displaced now because their home is ravaged, their home is toxic. People are dying, they're you know f getting food and living a certain way was not happening where they're from. So now they're in this wilderness, it's like a camping kind of deal. It is discouraged but also encouraged. Depends on um, the situation from the government that was involved, and it 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 touch on the 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 memories of of those who um, lived it, um, and those who don't really remember as far, as far as like the daughter. She's young. She doesn't have any memories really of what life was like. Her memories are all based on what her mom told her, and there's a sense of she felt like her mom. Um, um, betrayer in a way that she didn't understand and didn't look and looked at her in a very weird way at times and what ended up happening um, in this is that she um, really um, it was just so complicated that towards the end is that moment where she realized um, she became a mother and then she understood her mother in that in that whole chaos and it, I thought it was just so interesting and um, I enjoyed it. Then the only nonfiction that I was able to complete, which is the the one of the wonderful adventures of Mrs. Sequel in many lands. And this is a Jamaican nurse who um talks about her life after she became a widow. She's you know up there in age in terms of that time period. This is in the 1850s. And her adventures are basically what she does as a nurse in other countries. So it started out in Panama. And she is dealing with um, disease like cholera, yellow fever, all that stuff that was going on. And how she treats the, the patients and the things that she tries to come up with to, to treat them. And how tender she was and caring she was with a lot of her patients. And how eventually she was able to get to the UK. And I did a full review on this so you can watch that. Um, but her experience in the war that was happening there at the time. And um, what I like too is how she wasn't even aware of how, how important she was. A lot of the stuff she's learning is um, is how um, from soldiers who re wrote and let the world know um, what she did for them. And I thought that was really nice. She's fiercely, she, she's she definitely Jamaican. Um, she's, you know, how she describes herself is, is talked about in a way because she's back then in mulattoes is, um, is what what she would call Creole um, where I guess her father is Scottish her mom is also mixed and uh, that sense now the time period in this slavery was still happening in Jamaica um, and pretty much everywhere um, it's not discussed much which is probably why um, the forward in this was a little bit you know sad eye but she didn't the book is really about her experience in other countries um, and working not really what's going on in Jamaica because this is the, that's why it's named adventures in many lands so yeah to the forward person yeah 
Then I wanted this book so bad that I actually asked the publisher to send it to me and they did. And I received this a week before it came out, but you know, NaNoWriMo, I had a slow go on this one. But when I'm reading this, I wanted to say, Hoppo, who that girl? Because I don't recognize my favorite sister in this. And if you're curious what she is, I will leave the, the vlog I did for the first book in, in this series. This is the second book. The first book was War Girls and how I felt about the sister. And then in this, I was kind of like, who, who, who is she? Who is this pasta? You know, it was just, it was so weird to me. And I was a little bit like, not, not with it <laughs> when it comes to that. It's very action packed, but the beginning was a bit slow. Um, there's this whole message of memory in this, and the whole idea of the government wants to erase these um, children of war because of the the whole idea that you know they'll they'll better off not remembering the pain and the tragedy and all that happened and the things that they themselves had to do during this war. That's the whole gist of it. But it was just a little bit. Um, taken back for me and I, I, I struggled I, I struggled with with some part of this but the ending the ending got an A that ending on this book I was here for that then I decided to get into some short story and that's the best thing I can do when you are doing NaNoWriMo and you really don't have time to really commit to a full length you just get some short story in there and it's just that's how I did so I read three short story the first one is um the core Zakora and this is from Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and this one really deals with motherhood it was so good it was so really like she came out swinging in this short story and it, it's it's talking about motherhood in a way that made me myself uncomfortable in terms because I'm thinking this character is not young this character is um, an adult who has done everything and still end up in a bad situation and end up being um, a mother who's reflecting on her decisions and how she got there and you seen the pain of her having like you know it's kind of like it was a little bit weird at times because I'm like man you just imagine you trying to have you in there having a child and you just have to remember that you end up with somebody who you know is short it's 30 something pages read it so you understand where i'm coming from <laughs> then on thanksgiving i picked up a feast for the senses by nicole falls i've never read anything from this author but after i was done i looked at my kindle and i realized i actually have two books in my kindle that i never read from this author but i enjoyed this it's cute it's that i like you you like me you know other people just decided to intervene and make things happen that's the gist of it it was very cute and i, I enjoy it and then the last one I read was Mark My Words. And this is Nick, this is Stephanie Nicole Norris. I don't know this one as this author as well. But I did have one of her book on my candle, which I was like, oh, okay. So this one is sweet and sexy, and I was for it. I was rooting for the character. This is where a second chance situation where uh, a couple and now they were separated by by um, one of their family member and how um, the love never died and years later and how they were able to rekindle um, and 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 kind of heal from what happened to them. It was so cute. I was here for it. I loved it. I read that while I was eating, and it was it was really good. So that's the three. And beyond the truth, I think I'm going to pick up some more short story because I'm kind of liking the short story vibes right now. And then I decided to start this bad boy. You see this chunker? You see this chunker? This is another Dickens and it is a little Dort. And this one, and I'm already on page 93. So that gives an idea that it is fast paced. Like, fast pace. Like, a lot is going on just in the, the beginning of this book that it makes me a little worried because if there's so much going on, what's going to happen in the middle of the book? Is the middle of the book going to drag? I hope not. But so far, it's coming off real good. Now, I'm supposed to be buddy reading this with Didi from Brown Girl Reading. And we've been reading Dickens this year. I think we this is our third Yes, this will be our third Dickens um, for this year. This is probably most likely my last classic for the year. Um, 
unless I pick up one modern class, but this, this is, this, I don't, <laughs> this is, this is going to do me in. Um, enjoying it so far. It is really good. It's basically about, um, a man who is, um, in debt and is a debt prison. So he cannot leave. He has a daughter and the daughter goes out every day working, um, in hopes of fixing their debt issue. And uh, she's working for a family who is, um, you can see there's issues. There's a, there's a mother who's recently become a widow. There's the son who just came home and he is um, wanting to, to, to find out what his father was trying to say to him about um, the wrong that he did to, to someone. And there's a, a middling man who is basically hot mess and there's people that work there at that home and so you get a you get a sense of the family drama and how the the little girl's character is associated with all that um so we'll see how this turned out and with the penguin i love how he has these um photos in 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 the books it's so cool and pretty much all the ones I have is the same thing. So you get an idea of this. But so far, it is um, a good read so far. So I would definitely give you a rundown when I get to the end. It's going to take me probably the whole month. Let me not say that because maybe not. But it's going to probably take me a couple, maybe two weeks to finish this book. But we'll see. And that's it, guys. So I, um, yeah, I made it. <laughs> So I did well in November better than I thought. Um, so I'm so glad I was able to squeeze in some books. But yeah, and I'm going to end this here. So come back tomorrow. So there's a video every day. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day. Bye.